All right, so you're taking, you know, Spurs had a really good game the other night versus the Pistons. Wemby has a triple double. They look a, a little bit better. They're actually starting a point guard now. Um, playing the Hornets, who I I was like, oh, this this team is terrible, and everyone was like, no, they're gonna be like decent, and I, like I talked myself into it, and then I bet they're overs, and now those futures are all dead, and I blame the internet for for bullying me into believing something I I thought was not true, but it's also not fair. They've been Lamella. missing an important guy. Though. Yeah, yeah Lamella's Lamella been out, even though I think he's, I ranked him as the 87th best player in the NBA this season on my top 100. <laughs> and took a lot of shit for it. Now, that's what makes me most mad, is that I can't be like, ha ha, I was right! Because uh, it's like, oh, he, he hasn't played, sucks. So, yeah. hope he gets better soon, because uh, he is a really fun guy to watch on highlights, as long as you're not watching the games. Uh, but, Spurs, favored versus the Hornets. Why do you like San Antonio? This is, first of all, this is also why you need to go subscribe to the YouTube channel and watch these live sometimes because you don't get the facial expressions. It's hard enough to get the sarcasm through just the audio. Go watch some of these, and you can see me and Matt cracking up on some of this sarcastic jargon back and forth. But, yes, I like the Spurs here, money line minus 120 against the Charlotte Hornets. Don't look now, Matt. But the Spurs are playing better ball as of late. 4-1 and one ATS in the last five. Last four games for the Spurs, 12th in net rating, number one in turnover percentage, only turning it over 11 times a game, ninth in defensive rebounding percentage. And these are against solid teams. Grizzlies with Morant, Bucks, Cavs, and then that win that we just mentioned where Wemby had the triple-double against the Pistons. But they did smoke those boys. They beat them by 22. It wasn't a, a grinded-out game where they just beat the Pistons. They, they beat them up pretty good by 22. Let's talk about the Hornets. 1-14 in their last 15, dead last overall in net rating over that span. Just horrendous on offense, horrendous on defense. They've been decimated by injury, but LaMelo Ball, a couple hours ago, was announced that he is upgraded to questionable, could play in this game. That still doesn't spook me. I think this is a really good spot for the Spurs to win two games in a row for the second time this year. The first time they won two games in a row this year, Matt, you'll remember, they beat the Suns in Phoenix going back to back on like the little duplex home and home. And that maybe should have been our, our, our initial red flag that the Suns might have some issues here coming down the pipe in the 2023, 2024 season. But we'll get, we'll, we'll talk about Phoenix another time. Maybe we'll talk about them in the division piece, but they only have two home wins all year long. The Spurs, I believe they'll come out motivated, try to get a W for the home fans and win two straight for that second time in the year. Spurs have been favored twice this year. They're 2-0. and Only the second game in five days, so they'll be rested. I believe the Spurs get the W here. We talk about this all the time. There are, there are points in the week and on the schedule where, hey, we know we're not a good team. Pop knows it. Victor Wimbanyama, of course, is a rookie trying to get his footing. They have a lot of guys over there. Keldon Johnson, who I really like his game. But there's, there's times where they suit up and they're like, we're going to be hard-pressed to get a W here. We're in Boston. We're probably not going to win here. This is one where they're suiting up thinking they're going to get the win at home against a horrid Charlotte Hornets team. A good opportunity to win two in a row, get another W in front of the fans. I like the Spurs here. I don't think anybody knows they've been playing a lot better ball as of late. I'll lay the, the the 10 cents, take the Spurs, minus 120. I wouldn't be mad if you took minus one for minus 110, minus 105, wherever you can get the best number, whatever you feel comfortable with. But I believe the Spurs get the W here. Uh, so since they upgraded LaMelo from out to questionable, I would probably say you should wait and wait till LaMelo is uh, ranked in and then bet the Spurs. And like I, I, that's probably what I will do is I will actually bet San Antonio if Lamelo is clear to play. Uh, here's a number for you: over the last three seasons, this includes that really good season that they had a couple of years ago. Um, since 2122, okay, um, the Charlotte Hornets are 20 and 27 straight up, 21, 23 and three at 47.7 percent ATS. So just over the line for. Um, for clearance or just at the line there for clearance for, for profitability when LaMelo plays and Gordon Hayward does not. And this is with a worse team than it was two years ago. Like this, the, Gordon Hayward is your, is your, it, that's your anchor. Like that's, that's no if, if LaMelo plays and Gordon Hayward plays, okay. All right. You want to play the Hornets in a, in a good spot when they're grabbing some, when they're grabbing a bunch of points. All right, fine. Okay. They're, they're, but I get it. You gotta, gotta, gotta play some 
team sometimes. If Gordon Hayward is out, you should never bet the Charlotte Hornets. You should never, ever bet the Charlotte Hornets. Also, P.J. Washington also doubtful here. So even if LaMelo comes back, like this team is still pretty much garbage. Uh, so I, I fully with you. Um, love the cap on the, the size and how they played. Also, Mark Williams out. They're missing what I, who I think is their yeah. best center. So like, yeah, no question. It, even if the Hornets get LaMelo back, they can get their best player back. They're missing all of the important guys. So like that's just how this goes. Um, so I'm with you on this. 